Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Rodney Williams. I'm the co-founder and chief commercial officer of Listener. Uh, Listener pioneered transmitting data using ultrasonic audio about seven years ago. And we have integrated across so many different industries, whether it's auto, whether it's fintech. Um, today, I'm going to talk about a problem in mobility where we're gaining some adoption. Um, and really excited about three automakers moving forward with a full-scale launch over the next six months. So let's drive right into a key problem that I think we can address. And it's really around in-car connectivity. There's essentially three reasons why in-car car connectivity is having some challenges. But there's a growth in automobility services like car share, ride share, fleet management, as well as the frequency of pairing in the vehicle by either the driver, the passenger, the kids, the family, the taxi is increasing dramatically. It's causing a lot of issues. I think we can all remember the first time we got into our vehicle and tried to play a song. Or more importantly, how bad it looks in the back of an Uber. Uh, all of these are challenges in the way in which the mobile device is either connecting to that vehicle. Um, what you're seeing um, is the issues with these technologies. So if you think about in-car connectivity, the number one thing you think about is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Both of those methods require a manual step. You have to actually pair. You have to actually submit some type of information for the two devices to connect. There's a couple car manufacturers actually using NFC, um, which requires a tap. That's a little bit better, but they actually are adding NFC to, to, so that you can connect to Bluetooth better. And then there's even auto manufacturers using QR codes on the actual infotainment system. We like to think that there is a better solution in all of these that can create a lot more seamless connectivity. All of those technologies essentially create a lot of frequency or a lot of uh, friction at high frequency, at high pairing and high uh, syncing events. Uh, these are two examples of probably the worst things that I ever saw in a vehicle. You know, so there's Bluetooth in the vehicle, there's Wi-Fi in the vehicle, and you're still adding a QR code because there's a challenge. I need to connect that mobile device to that vehicle as fast as possible and as frequent as possible. Here's another example. Again, a car with NFC, even after adding Bluetooth. This is another chip. This is another piece of hardware to an already expensive vehicle, and they still are not getting the in-car experience that they ideally want. Uh, this is where we think Listener can do something pretty elegantly to drive seamless connectivity inside the vehicle. So let's talk about what Listener does and is. So Listener is a software product that transmits data between two devices using frequencies within the sound range. Now, when we do that, we're just software and audio. So we can play via any speaker, and we can be received by any microphone. So we can leverage the speakers and the microphones in the vehicle to connect to the mobile device, said very simply. Now, as a company, we're leveraging basically a software alternative to NFC or Bluetooth that require chips, but a software alternative that is extremely, extremely seamless when you're thinking about authentication across the customer journey. The top features uh, of why we exist, and I'm going to go back one slide. Uh, the top features in why we exist uh, tend to be around universe, universal device connectivity. We can live and breathe on any device. The second piece is easy integration. Sometimes we don't even have to add software to the vehicle. We can actually be streaming audio. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a case study um, with the manufacturer where we were integrated in, in very, very fast time because of that. Other features or security are, are advantages revolve around encryption as well as range control. 
So let's talk about the ideal use case, right? You hop into the car. Ideally, the car should identify you instantaneous, right? It shouldn't be uh, 000 Bluetooth code. You shouldn't have to scan something. You shouldn't have to tap a device. The car should automatically identify you. And no, we're not going to add cameras. We're not going to add additional hardware. We're going to leverage the system that's there to broadcast an identifier. Now, that's exactly what this auto manufacturer did. So they leveraged our API. Our API was, uh, gave them the ability to create a unique code alongside some information for timing and security. And every time you entered the vehicle, the vehicle was actually broadcasting that. Now, when the mobile device, or more importantly, when that car manufacturer's mobile application I heard that identifier, it would automatically sync, pair, or do some type of personalization response. Now, what we loved about this experience, from POC to in market in less than 12 months, because technically we did not add software to the vehicle. It was an audio stream. Um, we only added software to the mobile device. Um, we're really proud about this manufacturer uh, because they took everything that was good about our technology and figured out how can we make something that's impactful. And to the consumer, it's a blessing. They walk into the vehicle, it pairs, it syncs extremely fast, and offers a number of different services. Now, as a company, there's a lot of friction across these three areas. And these are the three areas where we focus on. Mobility, transportation, like ticketing, as well as mobile payments and retail. The reason why we want to show this slide is our rationale for getting to the vehicle doesn't stop with creating a better experience. Uh, we are being created as a next generation payment method. So Visa is one of our partners, one of our investors. Uh, we have gone through about two years of global testing, passing live payment credentials through listeners protocol, comparing it to NFC, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, in a number of different scenarios, not just in retail, but across mobility, car share, ride share, voice authentication products. And it is a next generation way to pay. And the way I can describe why is the same reason why we're getting into the vehicle. We give our customers the ability to control range. Range can be limited to a few centimeters or in increased to 10 meters. Um, it is a proprietary security channel. So there's a number of things that we can offer to make sure that that transmission is secure as possible. And additionally, uh, the communication can be bi-directional. Bi-directional creates a lot of opportunities um, that other payment methods today and other authentication method methods don't offer. So um, really proud about some of the things that's moving forward over the next couple months. Um, founded in 2012, as I mentioned, some of our investors like Visa and Intel, you know, up to this date, our technology has been almost sporadic in use globally. Um, we are ecstatic about the launches that are happening because we've probably gone through some of the most extensive testing ever as we started to transmit more and more and more secure information. In that process, we also got more sophisticated. So it's a pleasure to be here, and that's Listener. Thank you.